you have an old lamp that you just don't love anymore. Or maybe you love that Pottery Barn look, but you can't justify spending that kind of money. In this video, we're going to share how we're going to transform this lamp into the Pottery Barn Ferris Ceramic Lamp. This video is sponsored by Black Dog Salvage Furniture Paint. All opinions are our own. Be sure to keep watching to get your own discount code. The only prep work you'll need to do is give your lamp base a good cleaning. We recommend using TSP. You'll just mix it with hot water according to the directions and rinse until the water is clear. We also wanted to create that raised band that's on the inspiration lamp, but this part is totally optional. To do this, we rolled out air dry clay with a rolling pin on a piece of parchment paper into a long strip that was about an eighth of an inch thick. Once the clay was long enough to go around the lamp, we used a pizza cutter and a straight edge to trim it to about one and a quarter inches wide. Next, we used a Sharpie to make a placement mark on the lamp for the clay strip. Then you can place the clay onto the lamp base along that line with the seam at the back of the lamp. And finally, you'll use damp fingers to smooth out the seam along with any imperfections in the clay and let it dry overnight. The next morning we found that the band had separated at the seam as it dried and it shrunk about an inch, but this was an easy fix. We used E6000 glue to secure it back onto the lamp base and added a piece of clay to fill in the gap. Once it was dry, we sanded the seam before painting the lamp base. Before you start painting the lamp base, you'll wanna make sure to stir your paint thoroughly. We've noticed, especially with the darker colors, there's quite a bit of settling in the bottom of the paint can. You can also store your can upside down to help with the settling, but you never wanna shake it, always stir. The first coat will be this rich, dark brown color called dirt. We're applying the paint in a horizontal motion to mimic the details from the inspiration lamp. You don't need to worry about complete coverage with this coat, but you can also see how well it does cover with just the first coat. We're also using a Lazy Susan under the lamp to make it a little bit easier to spin as we go around. The first time we used Black Dog Salvage Furniture Paint on my Kitchen Island Makeover and we were so impressed with the self-leveling properties. It's not a chalk paint. Their formula is 50-50 latex and acrylic based with a calcium carbonate and other clay bodies. Again, the only prep needed before painting is to clean the surface with TSP. This paint really is awesome. It bonds to just about any surface. You can paint over metal, glass, laminate, wood, ceramic, and surfaces that have lacquer, poly, varnish, shellac, oil, or water-based paint or stain. It can also be mixed easily to create your own custom colors. And they've created over a hundred color recipes that you can start with. Both paint and top coats are environmentally friendly with low VOCs, which means there's no odor. And it's easy cleanup with soap and water. And you can save 20% on your order using our promo code to the sunny side 20. Just use the link down in the description box below. For the next coat of paint, we mixed our own custom color. It's a soft, creamy off-white. We used a ratio of one part dirt to 30 parts clean canvas. It doesn't take much paint. We only mixed half a teaspoon of dirt with five tablespoons clean canvas, and it was plenty of paint for the lamp base. As you apply this creamy off-white paint, you'll brush it a bit more to create a little texture in the finish. This coat won't cover all the brown paint and that's just the way you'll want it to be. This layer creates that depth and aged effect we're going for. We're so excited with the way this is coming together. And the final layer of paint will be clean canvas. With this layer, you'll use a dry brush technique. First, you'll dip the tip of a chip brush into the paint, work the paint into the bristles by brushing it back and forth on a palette or a paper plate, then blot the brush on a paper towel. You don't want too much paint in the brush for this step. Then you'll lightly brush across the lamp in a horizontal motion. This will create that amazing aged and layered effect very similar to the Pottery Barn lamp. 
Continue brushing around the entire lamp base until you're happy with the results. Then you'll want to allow the paint to fully cure for 24 hours before applying the top coat. And the very last step is to apply the top coat. Be sure to stir it well, again, never shake. Shaking will aerate the top coat and create bubbles that you won't see until it dries. We're using their Show Dog top coat in ultra clear matte because we wanted to maintain that velvety matte finish of the paint. You'll want to choose Show Dog top coat when working with a white or a pale color because it won't yellow over time. Their Guard Dog top coat is a little stronger, but it can amber over time on lighter colors. We are so thrilled with the way this lamp makeover turned out. It has all the character that we love in the Ferris ceramic lamp from Pottery Barn. Just take a look at the two lamps side by side. This dupe turned out amazing. It's full of depth and character. Painting a lamp base doesn't have to be intimidating or expensive. With the right supplies like Black Dog Salvage Furniture Paint and layering the paint, you can transform an ordinary lamp into a beautiful painted lamp base, just like those from Pottery Barn. So are you ready to transform an old lamp? Let us know if this is a project you'd like to try. Be sure to share your thoughts and questions with us. We'd love to hear from you. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for even more DIY ideas on a budget each week. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.